What's up gang, welcome back to another Rec Room News video, and of course, I have just two things I'm going to be talking about inside today's video. You guys have seen the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be talking about this new developer blog that Rec Room just released, and for our next thing, I'm going to be talking about an issue that was happening with Rec Room, but Rec Room had sorted it out and stuff. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. But whilst we're here, you should totally use my code. I've been seeing people comment that they're not going to use my code and stuff like that, and I uh, just want to say it's not very funny, I will find you, and uh, yeah. Use my code. Anywho, Rec Room had this announcement talking about a bug that was happening with players' notifications. Essentially, they would just get spammed on their official notifications page. Rec Room had a bug with the announcement system where it was spamming people, and this was just a bug where it was replicating the announcement for each platform we were on rather than just hitting each player once. It's fixed now, and thank you to everyone who made noise about this and drew our attention to it. P.S. I was going to post this announcement here five times to be funny, but I'll spare y'all. We got that good news, of course, and we got even more good news with a new developer blog talking about upgraded bean avatars. Rec Room has an announcement saying this. At everyone, we have big dreams for the future of expression in Rec Room, whether you're rocking a bean or full body avatar, and that's why we're giving the bean avatar a well-deserved upgrade to match our commitment to both avatar styles. This isn't just about new features, though there are plenty, it's about ensuring that both avatar forms can enjoy new features, be compatible with Avatar Studio, and improve in perfect- oh my god, I can't believe I said performance wrong- across all devices, which means lower crash rates for everyone. The upgraded bean is still an experimental stage, so so we will be rolling it out in phases and collecting feedback to make changes on. As we go on through this phase, you'll still have the option to stick with the classic bean for a bit longer, so you can choose to explore these new changes at your own pace, and give us feedback on it on our Discord feedback channel. If you guys want the link to the Discord, there will be a link in the description, and you can check out all the full details and rollout plan by reading more here. Of course, this link will also be inside the description below. Now inside this avatar blog, it tells us that the bean avatar is getting an upgrade. The upgraded bean avatar sets the stage for amazing new features, smoother gameplay, and more ways to show off your style in Rec Room, including the all-new drops from Avatar Studio Creations. They even have a little image here teasing with a little bean body avatar actually holding a pistol and his hand still being there, which is super cool. He's also got corn rolls, awesome. Now the first paragraph inside the developer blog was basically just the announcement, so I'm going to skip over that. But Rec Room is releasing TLDRs, and basically it just displays all the new information out real quick, so if you guys don't want to have to watch the full video, you guys can basically stop after this. But if you guys want more information, we will of course be taking a deep dive into this developer blog this video, so of course drop in if you aren't already. Now they have new features for upgraded beans where your hands and whatever is equipped to them stays visible when holding items, an option to see your torso in first person, and new customization options like noses and eyebrows. The upgraded bean shares an animation system with full body avatar paving the way for the future features like body tracking and dynamic clothing. It's also great for Avatar Studio and unlocks the ability to design items for both avatar types in Avatar Studio. Basically steamlining the creative process for creators and unlocking cool new items for you, no matter your avatar type. There's also a technical optimizations to it as well, and they basically implemented memory saving features from full body avatars like skin cooling mask, just in time level of detail, and improved performance and stability across all devices, which means lower crash rates for everyone. And lastly, their rollout plan. We're rolling the upgraded bean out over the course of the next few weeks, starting with select players to gather community feedback and ensure smooth performance. This approach will help us address many remaining issues and whilst we're still fixing bugs and adding polish, we're going to keep the classic bean around for a limited time. Now to get more into detail with this developer blog, what new features will the upgraded bean have? And they basically have this gif of this, you know, bean body avatar being able to hold all these items and their hands still be there, it's pretty cool. Basically, you'll see your hands when holding something. Upgrading the bean has to have many same systems as the full body avatar, which means that you can show your hands when grabbing items in the game and now you can see all of your awesome bracelets, gloves, or wristwear even whilst grabbing stuff. They do have this little note saying it's optional though, as with most features we're introducing to the upgraded bean, this will be optional if you prefer to keep your hands invisible for our OG VR players. This is an ergonomic difference between showing your hands or not, so if you feel like the upgraded bean avatar doesn't feel quite the same when holding a pistol or dodgeball, try turning off show hands when grabbing in the experience tab of game settings. Your torso can also be visible in first person, and they added a new feature to keep your torso items visible when you look down. Post upgrade, you'll be able to look down and check out outfit items like the pull floaty you've equipped on your waist, and like with the above hand visibility feature, this will be an optional feature that you can turn off. I kinda like how all of these things have different gifts and stuff like that, there's also different images that are displayed with the information, it's just a very nice, well-rounded developer blog. Literally does not go along with whatever we're talking about, but I just wanna say that whoever made this developer blog cooked. Boo! 
Did I scare you? Well, if I didn't, you should totally join my channel membership. My channel memberships are just a subscription where you give me money every single month and I give you perks every single month like sneak peeks to videos or being shouted out in all of my videos. Uh, and since all my members get a shout out, it's probably time that I, uh, you know, shout them out. So massive shout out to all my channel memberships, which include Jack Tutorial, The Dragon Boy, Better Bear, Nathan Pup, Mr. Ink, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozo Blade Cat, BB Burning and Al, Yo, Jakey, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix, Sign, and of course, Box David. Consider joining the membership if you guys want to be shouted out in my videos like this or get sneak peeks inside my Discord server. And of course, let's continue with this video. Anyways, they have eyebrows and noses as an option, and since the upgraded bean shares the same face system as the full body avatar, you could enable eyebrows and noses on your bean avatar, and again, for those at the back. These will be entirely optional, just like full body avatars. There's also a new animation system. The most significant new feature is that the upgraded bean will share the same animation system as the full body avatar. We really like the way the upgraded bean moves and the expressiveness that we've been able to bring to both avatar types, and in the future, using this system unlocks the potential for other new features that improve expression like better gestures, dances, and emotes. The features don't end here, of course, and upgraded beans will unlock development for even more exciting features that, like dresses that flow with your movement, more advanced sliders to customize your avatar form, and fingers slash eyes slash body tracking to both the bean and full body avatars. This means that the future of our roadmap won't be divided based on body type, and so many cool new features will work on both of them when they launch. Now, why this upgrade matters for Avatar Studio? We released Avatar Studio, our new custom avatar item creation tool, to a small group of creators last month and have plans to widen access to more creators this year. We want creators designing items for both avatar forms, so we need the creation experience to feel similar across both body types. The upgraded bean lets you design outfits that work for both avatar types using the same skeleton, instead of starting from scratch for each avatar type, and you can simply just adjust the outfit geometry for the other form. They're bringing out the full body technical optimizations to the upgraded bean. In their full body avatar optimizations blog, we talked about new features that reduce memory usage of full body avatars by 60 to 70 percent, and these optimizations included skin coli mask where they save memory by only rendering visible skin, eliminating unnecessary vertices, then they have mesh data and vertex compression where they just enhance performance by compressing and optimizing data, and lastly just in time level of detail where they adjust avatar detail based on proximity, reducing memory usage, and improving stability. Now we're bringing many of those same features to the upgraded bean to make it even more memory efficient so creators can add more things to their rooms and have more players in them without extra crashing risk. Now for our last bit of this entire developer blog, they talk about the upgraded bean rollout plan. As we've been developing the upgraded bean, we've been doing a series of internal and external playtests, specifically focusing on VR players who have logged a lot of miles with their bean avatars. So far, we're getting a strong signal that there's a lot of love about the upgraded bean once they fix some remaining bugs, but when those bugs are smoothed out and when they are confident that the upgraded bean is feeling great, they'll roll it out. During the first two weeks of rollout, around 20% of players will have access to the upgraded bean, we'll be monitoring performance and listening to feedback from the community, and if things are going well, we'll continue upgrading more and more players over the following two weeks. After we monitor these two weeks, all remaining players will get access to the upgraded bean, and of course, this is a six-ish week timeline if all is plain sailing. They'll be updating you as we go on how the upgraded bean is doing so you'll know if we're on the course or not. They've also found that changes to the fundamental game system like this are a lot easier when the community has time to adapt, and that's why we're offering a limited time option to stick with the classic bean so you can get a feel for the upgraded bean and we can compare how everyone's enjoying it. During this time, new avatar items will require the upgraded bean, but all the current avatar items that work with the classic bean will continue to work with your outfits. Once the upgrade is fully rolled out, we will continue working through the end of the year to sunset the aging systems, improve memory, and bring even more upgrades to the avatar ecosystem. Of course, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the upgraded bean and any feedback you may have as you roll it out, and you can join their conversation in hashtag upgraded bean avatars channel on their creative forum thread. Of course, the link to this developer blog will be inside the description below, and you guys can check out all of these links inside this developer blog. What do you think, Papa? What do you, what do you think about this news? And that's pretty much all the news that we have for today's video. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts down inside the comments below, and of course, if you guys haven't already, be sure to use my code. I love you very much, thank you for watching all the way to this point, and of course, like, subscribe, do all that crazy stuff, because that's appreciated too. If you guys want to see more record news, you guys should probably see a video on that side of the screen and stuff like that, that's just more of my news videos and they're still relevant i did not fall off i did not fall off and uh yeah if you guys couldn't tell i'm on my main account i got it back i just had to uh fix my performance i feel a little dumb but of course we'll see how it is on stream and of course i will catch you guys inside the next video peace out